Off you go. Hello and welcome to Cookery at Home. So today we're going to be making cheese stars. This is a lovely snack you can have when you have any family around. All right, very simple recipe. So the first thing we need to be doing is weighing out our flour. We've got self-raising flour and we have 50 grams. You want to turn it, once you've done it, turn it around, please, yes, yeah. There we go, yep. 50 grams goes into your mixing bowl. And then you need to add some margarine. 25 grams. If you're doing your maths here, you'll notice it's half the amount of fat to flour. And that's often the case in a lot of recipes with flour and margarine together. So it's 25 grams. Slightly over there, it's about a tablespoon. Slightly over, mm. but that's fine. That goes into your mixing bowl. And the last thing I need to add in actually as well, before I get away with my rubbing in, is a little bit of celery salt. This just really brings out the flavor of the cheese that we add in. And we only need a quarter of a teaspoon, so it's a very small amount. And you can also add in some ginger if you'd like to, which adds a little bit of spice. Then goes my celery salt. Right, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is some rubbing in. So using your fingertips, because they're the coldest part of your hand, you want to rub in until all the margarine is absorbed into the flour. This makes about 20 cheese stars. Then you can give the bowl a shake every now and again and any lumps of fat will appear on the top surface. All right, so that's almost rubbed in now. And the main ingredient on here is cheese, cheddar cheese. And we add in 100 grams of cheddar cheese. Our cheddar cheese way down. And then that is added into our mixture. And the next thing you have to try and do is just bring the whole mixture to a dough. So you will need to get your hands in there and you're just squeezing it. And you're squeezing it till you get a ball of dough. And it should just come to a ball of dough after a while. Squeeze it as hard as you can, and it's beginning to come together now. Almost there, last few bits now. So here I have my ball of dough. Ideally, the best thing to do now is to put this into the fridge for 15 minutes to let all the flour cool down and rest because it's easier to roll out then while you do the washing up. But I'm actually going to carry straight on with this and show you what to do next. A little bit of flour on the table. I'm going to break this in half because it's easier to manage. And I'm just going to knead it for a little while in my hands. A bit of flour on the top of it, a little bit on my rolling pin. And I'm now going to roll out my dough. And the actual dough gets better and better the more you roll it out, this mixture. So to start off with, if it does crack a little bit, don't worry. Keep persevering and rolling it out. And it should all stay together. And you want to roll it out together. Roll it out till it's about as thick as a one pound coin. So take your cutter. I'm making star biscuits, but you can use whatever cutter you have at home. And you want to go near the edge so you don't have to keep re-rolling it out. Go near the edge, push it down, give it a little twist, and then poke out your biscuit. And 
and then what you do next grab all your dough squeeze it all together and then roll it out again again it's about as thick as a one pound coin push out your star biscuits this time actually the dough rolls out really easily so if it doesn't roll out when you first of all start don't worry because by the time you've finished the dough will all stay together I've got one more there and I've used up half my dough and I've got about 10 biscuits so the next thing you need to do get yourself a nine baking tray put your biscuits on Oops, that one's not really broken off there. Let's do, always do one again if it doesn't work out quite right. Spread them out a little bit because they do puff up. And then just carry on rolling out again until you've finished. I won't do all that now, but you can do all that at home. And I'd love to hear about how your biscuits go when you've made them. It then goes into the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for 12 to 15 minutes. You'll find this recipe on the website and we'll have a zoom in now so you can see on here. Happy cooking. Thank you.